Hey everyone, so I've got an update to the DNC story that I posted this morning. So I told you about how Tom Perez has been doing a lot to piss off not only progressives, but actual DNC insiders. Now, we learned that he, for no good reason, decided to kick Babs Cyperstein out of the DNC. And there's other people that he's decided to kick out as well. So his strategy seems to be kicking out progressives and elevating the voices of Hillary Clinton neoliberals within the DNC. So we also learned this morning that Ray Buckley, someone who actually ran to be the DNC chairman um, earlier this year as well, who I didn't like at first, but he kind of grew on me, he was pushed out of the party. So Ray Buckley, he is an individual that endorsed Keith Ellison over Tom Perez, he began gravitating more towards the progressive grassroots wing of the party, he was pushed out. We learned that James Zogby was pushed out. Now, this article explains that James Zogby, the president of the Arab American Institute and prominent Sanders backer, is no longer co-chair of the Resolutions Committee and is off the Executive Committee, a spot he has held since 2001. He's now gone like that. We also have Alex German, the party's longtime former secretary and a vocal Ellison backer who was removed from her at-large appointment to the DNC. Now, they also list Babs here. Now, people who he is appointing, you know, um, to the DNC, well, according to this Bloomberg article, well, it's some lobbyists and um, Democratic Party strategists and operatives People that he shouldn't be putting in any position, you know, within the DNC. They shouldn't have any power. They should have no say over the Democratic Party's politics going forward because Clintonista neoliberals, their strategy is what led to the Democratic Party being wiped out. So strategically, that's just a bad decision. And when you appoint lobbyists to the DNC, well... How does that look to average voters, that you don't care about them, that you only care about large multinational corporations? Because that's, you know, these lobbyists, that's who they represent. Now, I love the justification that they give here. So, um, let me find it. Sorry. Oh, here it is. Okay, so once we learned that... Tom Perez would be appointing lobbyists to the DNC. Party spokesman Michael Tyler <laughs> stressed the demographic reach of the at-large nominees, saying they reflect the unprecedented diversity of our party's coalition. The party is doubling the representation of millennials and Native Americans on the DNC and increasing the number of Puerto Ricans, he said. So, in other words... Look away from the fact that we're pointing a lot of corporate shills to the DNC. Um, and just know that we are increasing descriptive representation. So in other words, they're hiding behind identity politics while doing the bidding of multinational corporations that fuck over these marginalized communities that they claim to care about so much. Now, it's not just that he's appointing lobbyists and is kicking out progressives. I mean, really, this looks like a cleanse. He's trying to cleanse progressives from the party. Also, before I, you know, get too caught up here, because I'm about to go on a rant, I assume, he appointed Jamie Harrison. Jamie Harrison was also running to be the DNC chair, but he is, he was a lobbyist for John Podesta's firm, and he is basically one of the biggest shills in the party. So that's an individual that's being elevated. Basically, anyone who conspicuously, for some reason, I don't know what it is, who didn't support Tom Perez and who endorsed Keith Ellison, they're being kicked out. Whereas the people who supported uh, Tom Perez's bid to be the DNC chairman, they're being elevated. Hmm. I wonder why that's the case. But, you know, don't look at who he's appointing. Just know that it's pretty diverse. This coalition is really diverse. So we have nothing to worry about. They might be... A coalition of diverse corporatists, but they're diverse nonetheless. So, you know, that's a win in his mind. But here's the biggest slap in the face to progressives. So, Paste Magazine, Eric McAdams says, Primary cheater Donna Brazil among those nominated by Tom Perez to become DNC delegates. The individual 
who was exposed because she cheated during the Democratic Party primaries for unfairly trying to elevate Hillary Clinton to the detriment of Bernie Sanders, who was fired from CNN because of what she did, mind you. That person, she's given a job on the DNC again. I don't, I don't even know what to say. This is the biggest fuck you to progressives that I think Tom Perez has done yet, because we all know that he knows about the rigged primary in 2016. He admitted it. He said when he was running that, you know, Bernie Sanders supporters, they are claiming that the 2016 primary was rigged. And you know what? They were right. And then hours later, he took to Twitter <laughs> and recanted that statement um, and said Hillary Clinton won fair and square, which we all know is not the truth. So we know that he only recanted that statement due to the backlash, but at least he acknowledges and acknowledged that the primaries were rigged. So here he is giving someone a job who rigged the primary in 2016 or who, who certainly helped rig the primary. It was a considered effort giving her a job again. This is someone who has gone so crazy, who's gone so far off the deep end that she has all but called for war with Russia. That's how crazy her McCarthyism has become. And that's aside from the fact that she should never get another job in politics again because she cheated. But she will now be serving on um, the DNC again. The DNC, their standards are <laughs> not even as high as CNN's. It's unbelievable. So this is the way that they kind of laid it out. They have all the females listed here. And then they also have males. So I don't know. This looks like a near 50-50 split. But basically, if you were a Bernie Sanders supporter, you were pushed out of your position, but... If you're a Hillary Clinton supporter, you're taking over. Now, progressives already don't have much power, even though they like to pretend like we have power and pat us on the heads because there's this so-called Unity Commission. Well, the whole design of the Unity Commission is meant to advantage the Hillary Clinton wing of the party because there's just not enough Bernie Sanders supporters on that commission. He was only allowed to appoint, I believe, seven, whereas Clinton got nine and Tom Perez got three. So they could vote down any change that they don't like. So this is what we're dealing with here. Tom Perez cleansing the party of progressives and elevating the most disgusting people that the Democratic Party has to offer. That's what he's doing. So it's time for us to stop playing nice with Tom Perez, because even though, um, I think anyways, we've been pretty reasonable, even though we've held him to a pretty high standard, I haven't called for him to resign, really, at this point, because, well, I don't want them to say, oh, well, you never even gave him a chance, you weren't even willing to give him a chance. Clearly, Tom Perez is a divisive figure. When he was, when he became the DNC chairman, he was divisive, because, Keith Ellison already had the momentum, and then a month later, Obama and establishment party members pushed Tom Perez in to swoop in and steal that job from Keith Ellison. So I think it's time. I mean, we've we've given him months. He's not doing anything to appeal to progressives. He's incompetent. He's pissing off not just progressives, but DNC insiders. It's time for him to resign. This is unforgivable. To a point, Donna Brazil, you might as well put Debbie Wasserman Schultz back on. You might as well do that because um, there, there's no there's no reason to do this. Now, he did cite a reason because, you know, um, Donna Brazil, she's a woman of color, so that increases diversity. Look, if you are going to have a diverse coalition of people serving in the DNC, then you have to appoint people that are actually cognizant of the corporate policies that disproportionately harm people of color and marginalized minorities like the LGBTQ community. But in just simply saying, oh, well, we're more diverse now. That's not fucking enough. How is that acceptable? How is that acceptable? You're hiding behind identity politics to 
promote your corporate agenda covertly. And when we criticize you, then you can then turn around and say, oh, well, you're criticizing this diverse coalition. You must be sexist. You must be homophobic. That's what you're doing. And it's it's so transparent. So Tom Perez has got to go. It's time he resigns. Let Keith Ellison take over because clearly you have no interest in unifying the party as you know, you you implied you wanted to at the beginning of your, um, when you were running, you gotta go. This is completely fucked. It's a slap in the face to every single progressive that got screwed over in 2016. And certainly, if you think you're gonna reunite the uh, progressive left and the neoliberal center after doing things like this, after cleansing the party of progressives, it's never going to happen. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.